Remember that party with P. Diddy, Aaliyah, and Jade Lowe? And that other one with Jay-Z? The one from decades ago? Or how about the infamous gathering cat told you about with all those celebrities? Those photos you saw, the ones from daddy's early parties, have been the subject of recent lawsuits alleging that they were used as a means to traffic and abuse individuals. It's a disturbing revelation that sheds new light on the darker side of the entertainment industry. In recent developments, shocking revelations have emerged about the dark side of the glamorous lives of some of the biggest names in the music industry. Sean Diddy Combs, now behind bars, has been accused of hosting parties that allegedly involved minors and sex workers. These parties, often referred to as freak-offs, were reportedly filled with illicit activities, including drug use and coerced sexual acts. But what about Jay-Z? Rumors have been swirling that he might be involved in similar activities, with some even suggesting that his actions could be worse than Diddy's. As more secrets come to light, Jay-Z and Jennifer Lopez have also been implicated in the scandal surrounding Diddy. Internet sleuths have been hard at work, uncovering a web of intrigue involving some of the biggest names in the music industry. Questions are being raised about Jay-Z's involvement in the scandal surrounding Sean Diddy Combs. One of the first hints came from 50 Cent, who suggested that Jay-Z avoided Diddy's calls after federal agents raided Diddy's properties. A few months ago, 50 Cent claimed that Jay-Z wasn't answering Diddy's calls during his legal troubles. In an Instagram post, 50 Cent shared an image of a milk carton with Jay-Z's face on it, captioned, Anybody seen Jay lo He added that Puff mentioned Jay-Z wasn't picking up his phone. In another post, 50 Cent shared an image of Jay-Z, captioning it, Here's Jay-Z last seen waving at Puffy's jet, alluding to rumors that Diddy had fled the country on his private jet. Diddy and 50 Cent are known to be close friends in the industry, and their camaraderie is no secret. So, when Diddy was arrested, the internet buzzed with speculation that Jay-Z might be implicated in his crimes. Evidence unearthed by online investigators suggests that Jay-Z may have been aware of, and possibly even participated in, Diddy's notorious freak-off parties. These parties, infamous for their illicit activities, have now become a focal point of the investigation. Photos featuring Jay-Z, Diddy, Jennifer Lopez, and Aaliyah have gone viral, adding fuel to the fire. The images, combined with the ongoing investigations, paint a troubling picture of the hidden lives of these celebrities. The full extent of their involvement is still under scrutiny, and only time will reveal the truth behind these allegations. Aaliyah was a beloved figure in the music industry, known for her angelic voice and captivating presence. Tragically, her life was cut short in a mysterious plane crash in 2001. However, her legacy is also marked by her controversial marriage to R. Kelly, a close associate of industry giants like Diddy and Jay-Z. In 1994, when R. Kelly was 27 years old, he secretly married the 15-year-old Aaliyah. The clandestine ceremony took place in Chicago and was enveloped in secrecy. It wasn't until Vibe magazine uncovered the truth that the public learned Aaliyah had falsified her age on the marriage certificate, claiming she was 18. This revelation led to the annulment of the marriage in February 1995, but the scandal left an indelible stain on Kelly's reputation. The circumstances surrounding their marriage were even more unsettling. During Kelly's trial, a former tour manager testified that he had bribed a government worker in 1994 to obtain a fake ID for Aaliyah, facilitating the illegal marriage. Despite the annulment, Aaliyah's career continued to soar, though she often evaded questions about her relationship with Kelly. Ironically, R. Kelly wrote and produced Aaliyah's debut album, Age Ain't Nothing But a Number. Despite knowing that his friend R. Kelly had taken advantage of Aaliyah, Jay-Z still collaborated with him. Just like R. Kelly, Jay-Z has also been embroiled in rumors of relationships with underage girls. One particularly persistent rumor involves his alleged affair with Foxy Brown. Jay-Z's controversial relationship with Foxy Brown, a rising star in the music industry, reportedly began when she was just 16 years old and he was 27. The disturbing nature of this relationship is further compounded by reports that Jay-Z paid Foxy Brown a significant amount of money to keep their relationship a secret. This revelation was later confirmed by Jay-Z's longtime friend and former business partner, Dame Dash, 
who became defensive when asked about Jay-Z and Foxy's affair. When questioned about the age at which Foxy Brown was signed, Dash responded evasively, saying, I wasn't paying attention to Foxy Brown, but I didn't sign Foxy Brown and just asking the question. I'm on the block. I'm responsible for everybody. You can do them because, you know, we don't beat around the bush. Say what you want. I'm just, what do you mean by that question? I would just, what are you insinuating? I'm not answering you. His defensiveness only fueled further speculation about the nature of Jay-Z and Foxy's relationship. Nick Cannon also weighed in on the scandal, stating, And I thought Foxy was like 16. That's all I'm saying. This comment added more weight to the allegations. Diddy, Jay-Z, and R. Kelly seem to have a lot in common, as evidenced by a lawsuit filed against Diddy by his former producer, Lil Rod. The lawsuit includes allegations that Diddy was involved with underage girls, further entangling these music industry giants in a web of controversy and scandal. Lil Rod has leveled serious accusations against Diddy, claiming that he engaged in sexual misconduct, forced drug use, and grooming. It is alleged that Diddy regularly hosted parties with sex workers and underage girls, requiring them to sign non-disclosure agreements to keep these activities secret. It'd be like, it'd be like buses, like big ass buses. You see all type of shit hop out. Especially at nighttime, like around three o'clock in the morning, it gets wild. Even Diddy's neighbors have reported seeing busloads of underage girls arriving at his house around 3 o'clock in the morning, raising further suspicions about his activities. Adding another layer to the controversy, it turns out that Diddy and Jay-Z might have more in common than previously thought. According to Lil Rod's lawsuit, Diddy was allegedly involved in sexual relationships with male celebrities. An excerpt from the lawsuit reads, Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper Meek Mill, R&B singer, and Stevie J. The footnotes in the lawsuit describe the rapper as a Philadelphia native who dated Nicki Minaj, and the R&B singer as someone who performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Vegas residency. Meek Mill, who fits the description of the Philadelphia rapper, dated Nicki Minaj from 2014 to 2016. An insider at E! News mentioned that their split was due to constant fighting over various issues that upset Nikki. They had a bigger fight and called it quits, the source said. These revelations have only added to the growing list of allegations against Diddy, painting a troubling picture of his private life and raising questions about the involvement of other high-profile celebrities in his controversial activities. But what about the R&B singer mentioned in the lawsuit? The lawsuit states that the singer in question performed at the Super Bowl and had a successful Las Vegas residency. All eyes turned to Usher, who fit this description perfectly. In 2024, Usher performed at the Super Bowl and in 2022, he had a successful Las Vegas residency. Jay-Z has also faced allegations of being gay, with one of his accusers being none other than 50 Cent. According to 50 Cent, Jay-Z has been trying hard to emulate the look of a famous gay painter. In his words, the big homie wanna look like the gay painter. He was referring to Jean-Michel Basquiat, suggesting that Jay-Z was mirroring Basquiat's distinctive style. These allegations have only added to the controversy surrounding these high-profile celebrities, painting a complex picture of their personal lives and the rumors that continue to swirl around them. Jean-Michel Basquiat was a renowned painter celebrated for his unique artistic style and his romantic relationships with many women, including the iconic Madonna. Despite his public persona, darker stories have emerged about those in his circle. Devante Swing, a mutual friend, allegedly informed Madonna that Diddy had secretly recorded an intimate encounter with her without her knowledge or consent. According to Devante, Diddy even showed the tape to others, a disturbing breach of privacy. The allegations against Diddy don't stop there. According to Lil Rod's lawsuit, Diddy has a history of recording his victims. In the 1990s and again in 2023, Lil Rod accused Diddy of drugging and sexually assaulting him along with other men. Lil Rod recounted a harrowing experience at one of Diddy's infamous drug-fueled parties, where he woke up naked, dizzy, and confused in bed with Diddy and two sex workers. Unfortunately, Lil Rod wasn't the only victim. The full extent of these claims is still under investigation, but they have already cast a long shadow over the music mogul's legacy. Another woman, 
identified as Jane Doe, came forward with a disturbing account of her encounter with Diddy. Her lawsuit paints a horrifying picture of coercion and sexual assault, implicating not only Diddy but also singer Aaron Hall. According to the lawsuit, Jane Doe and a friend attended an MCA event in 1990 or 1991, where Diddy and Aaron Hall extended an invitation to an afterparty. Upon arriving at Aaron Hall's apartment, Jane Doe alleges that Diddy coerced her into engaging in sexual acts against her will. The situation took a sinister turn when Aaron Hall forcefully entered the room, pinning her down and assaulting her. The horror didn't end there. In another room, Jane Doe claims that both Diddy and Aaron Hall forced her friend to engage in sexual acts as well. Even more disturbing is the incident that occurred two days after the alleged assault. Fearing that his then-girlfriend would discover the truth, Diddy reportedly went to the home where Jane Doe and her friend were staying and allegedly choked Jane Doe until she lost consciousness. This was not an isolated incident, as Diddy has been accused of similar misconduct in other lawsuits. These allegations paint a grim picture of Diddy's actions, revealing a pattern of abuse and violence that has left many victims in its wake. The full extent of these claims is still under investigation, but they have already cast a long shadow over his legacy. Entertainment president Harv Pierre faced serious allegations from an unnamed woman, referred to as Jane Doe, who claimed that he sexually assaulted her when she was just a 17-year-old high school student. According to court documents, the incident occurred in 2003. Jane Doe alleges that Pierre approached her at a lounge in Michigan, boasting about his close friendship with Diddy to gain her trust. To prove their relationship, Pierre and Diddy allegedly convinced her to take a private jet to Diddy's recording studio in New York City. The lawsuit includes photos that Jane Doe claims were taken at the studio that night, including one showing her sitting on Diddy's lap. Once at the studio, Jane Doe alleges that Diddy, Pierre, and an unidentified third assailant plied her with drugs and alcohol before subjecting her to a vicious and horrifying gang rape. The suit describes the incident as part of a sex trafficking scheme, with the defendants exploiting a vulnerable high school teenager and transporting her by private jet to New York City for the assault. These incidents suggest that Jennifer Lopez might have known something about Diddy's dark side, given his monstrous behavior both before and after their relationship. Adding to the mystery, many women in Diddy's life have come forward to expose him, while others, such as Kim Porter, have died under suspicious circumstances. On November 15, 2018, the world mourned the passing of Kim Porter. Initially, her cause of death was reported as pneumonia. However, some conspiracy theories have emerged, suggesting foul play. Despite the official coroner's report ruling her death as natural due to lober pneumonia, some believe she was on the verge of exposing Diddy in a book she was writing before her untimely demise. Another one of Diddy's exes, Gina Huynh, has come forward with harrowing allegations of physical abuse. According to Gina, their relationship was tumultuous and filled with violence. She described how Diddy would stomp on her and hit her, leaving her mentally, emotionally, and physically scarred. One of the most harrowing incidents she recounted was when Diddy allegedly stomped on her stomach with such force that it knocked the wind out of her. Gina also described how Diddy dragged her across the grass by her hair, a horrifying experience that left her traumatized. Gina's account is just one example of the physical abuse she claims to have suffered at the hands of Diddy. She also alleged that he grabbed her by the hair and punched the back of her head repeatedly. He stood over me and started punching me on the side of my head. I was just covering my face, she said. Was Jennifer Lopez shielding Sean, Diddy Combs all these years? Or did the Bad Boy Records executive treat her differently from other women in his life? The truth remains elusive. With footage of children at Diddy's raided house poised to reshape our understanding of the hip-hop mogul. Homeland Security agents have conducted a raid on the home of rapper Sean Diddy Combs as part of an ongoing sex trafficking investigation. This video delves into the complexities of the case, analyzing the leaked footage, its authenticity, and the potential repercussions for Diddy's reputation and the music industry's treatment of young artists the hip-hop mogul who has been making headlines for all the wrong reasons. In this video, we will explore the details of this shocking event, uncover the truth behind the raid, and examine the released footage. Let's get started.
These allegations have sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, tarnishing the reputation of the once-beloved music icon. Federal authorities took notice, leading to a raid on Combs' luxurious residence in Los Angeles. The accusations against Combs painted a disturbing picture of a man who abused his position of authority, preying on aspiring artists and models who dreamed of making it big in the entertainment industry. The victims who have bravely come forward allege that Combs used his power and influence to exploit vulnerable individuals, promising them fame and fortune in exchange for sexual favors and analyzed. Federal authorities, tasked with upholding the law and protecting the vulnerable, could not turn a blind eye to the mounting evidence against Combs. The Department of Homeland Security, renowned for investigating significant national crimes, took a keen interest in the allegations. Their investigation led them to believe there was enough cause to conduct a raid on Sean Combs's residence. On a Sunday morning in Los Angeles, a convoy of black SUVs, marked with the Department of Homeland Security's insignia, descended upon Combs's sprawling mansion. The raid was executed with military precision, catching Combs and his entourage off guard. Witnesses reported seeing heavily armed agents storming the property, their faces obscured by tactical gear. The raid lasted several hours as federal agents meticulously searched every inch of the mansion for evidence related to the ongoing investigation. The atmosphere was tense, with reporters and paparazzi swarming the scene, desperate to capture any glimpse of the unfolding drama. As news of the raid spread like wildfire, the world watched in shock and disbelief. The fall from grace of the music icon was unfolding before their eyes. The allegations against Combs had already tarnished his reputation, but the raid on his residence underscored the seriousness of the situation. From our chopper view, we saw several people being questioned outside the home. We observed several individuals being questioned outside the home, with some even detained. There's a lot of activity here, including helicopters overhead. In response to inquiries about the raid on Mr. Combs's residence, Homeland Security Investigations issued the following statement. Earlier today, Homeland Security Investigations New York executed law enforcement actions as part of an ongoing investigation, with assistance from HSI Los Angeles, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners. We will provide further information as it becomes available. The department did not specify the target of the investigation. Footage from Fox 11, a local television news station in Los Angeles, showed officers entering a home in the Holmby Hills area, which the station reported is connected to Mr. Combs's company, Bad Boy Entertainment. Another local station aired overhead footage of the raid, showing what appeared to be two of the rapper's sons outside the home in handcuffs. While further details were not provided, it is evident that federal authorities are determined to thoroughly investigate the allegations against Combs. The raid on Sean Combs's residence marks a pivotal moment in the ongoing saga surrounding the hip-hop mogul. As federal agents continue their investigation, the world waits with bated breath for more information. The shocking allegations of sexual assault and sex trafficking have rocked the entertainment industry, forcing us to confront the dark underbelly that often lurks behind the glitz and glamour. The lawsuit claimed that as a result of encounters in various cities across the United States, nature was a victim of sex trafficking. Miss Ventura's civil suit was settled in just one day, with both her and Mr. Combs stating that their dispute had been resolved amicably. However, her suit had a ripple effect, leading to several more cases accusing Mr. Combs of sexual assault. Mr. Combs has denied all accusations against him. In December, after an anonymous woman filed a suit accusing Mr. Combs and two other men of assaulting her in a New York recording studio in 2003 when she was 17, the music mogul responded, Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. As the fallout from the raid continues to unfold, the world watches with anticipation. Will justice be served? Will the allegations against Combs be proven true? Only time will tell, but history has shown that high-profile raids often precede an indictment of the celebrity in question. Remember when Jeffrey Epstein's island was raided? The raid on Sean Combs's residence has significant legal implications that could potentially reshape his life and career. If the allegations against him are proven true, 
Combs could face serious criminal charges, including sexual assault and sex trafficking. These are grave offenses that carry severe penalties, including imprisonment and hefty fines. In addition to criminal charges, Combs may also face civil lawsuits from the victims who have come forward. These lawsuits seek not only justice for the victims, but also financial compensation for the harm they have suffered. If found liable in these civil cases, Combs could be required to pay substantial sums of money, further impacting his personal and professional life. As the legal proceedings unfold, it is important to remember that everyone is innocent until proven guilty. The investigation into the allegations against Sean Combs is ongoing, and it is crucial to allow the legal process to run its course. Only then can a fair and just outcome be reached. Just last month, a major case was filed that could have triggered the raid on Combs's residence. Music producer Rodney Jones, also known as Lil Rod, claimed that Mr. Combs made unwanted sexual contact with him and forced him to hire prostitutes and participate in sex acts with them. Following Mr. Jones's suit, a lawyer for Mr. Combs stated that Mr. Jones was nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 million lawsuit shamelessly. Jones's journey began when he first crossed paths with Sean Diddy Combs, the renowned music mogul and founder of Bad Boy Records. Jones's career took off when he collaborated with Diddy on his 2023 album, Love. As a producer, Jones played a significant role in the creation of the album, contributing his unique style and expertise to nine of its tracks. This collaboration was a dream come true for Jones, who had long admired Diddy's work and saw this opportunity as a stepping stone to further success in the industry. During the production of Love, Jones found himself living and traveling with Diddy, immersing himself in the world of the music mogul. This proximity allowed Jones to witness firsthand the inner workings of Diddy's empire and the dynamics within his team. However, it was during this time that Jones alleges he became a victim of abuse at the hands of Diddy, including unauthorized groping and touching. These allegations paint a disturbing picture of the abuse Jones endured while working closely with the music mogul. It is a shocking revelation that has left many wondering how such behavior could go unchecked within the industry. The relationship between Jones and Diddy took a dark turn in February 2023, when Jones experienced a deeply disturbing incident. He alleges that he woke up one morning naked, dizzy, and confused, in bed with Diddy and two sex workers. Jones firmly believes that he had been drugged by Diddy, leading to this unsettling situation. This incident further underscores the severity of the abuse Jones claims to have suffered at the hands of Diddy. However, the abuse did not stop there. Jones also alleges that Diddy forced him and his 30-year-old son, Justin Combs, to procure sex workers for parties at Diddy's various homes. Jones claims that the threat of harm loomed over him if he did not comply with these demands. These allegations shed light on a deeply troubling environment surrounding Diddy and his associates, where power dynamics and coercion were used to manipulate those around him. In addition to the shocking allegations of sexual assault, Jones claims to have recorded several hours of video and audio of Diddy and his staff engaging in serious illegal activity. Among the recordings, Jones asserts that he has footage of Diddy providing laced alcoholic beverages to minors and sex workers at his homes in California, New York, the U.S. Virgin Islands, and Florida. If proven true, these allegations could have far-reaching consequences for Diddy and those involved. Jones has taken legal action against Diddy, filing a lawsuit seeking $30 million in damages. The lawsuit not only targets Diddy, but also names his son Justin, Diddy's chief of staff Christina Corum, Universal Music Group CEO Sir Lucian Grange, and former Motown Records CEO Ethiopia Haptomerium as defendants. This broadens the scope of the lawsuit and implicates other individuals in the alleged illegal activities. As the lawsuit unfolds, the music industry and the public await the truth behind these shocking allegations. Diddy's legal team has categorically denied the accusations, calling Jones a liar and vowing to take appropriate action against those who make defamatory statements. The battle between Jones and Diddy is set to play out in court, where the truth will hopefully be revealed. Jones claims that Diddy forced him to work in the bathroom, including while Diddy showered, and that Diddy engaged in constant unsolicited and unauthorized groping and touching. Diddy's legal team has strongly denied these allegations, leaving no room for doubt regarding their stance on the matter. 
They emphasized that Jones's lawsuit was a transparent attempt to garner headlines with reckless name-dropping about events that were pure fiction and simply did not happen. Diddy's legal team is prepared to address these outlandish allegations in court and take all appropriate action against those who make them. The tone of their response suggests a firm belief in Diddy's innocence and a determination to fight back against what they perceive as false accusations. The lawsuit filed by Jones not only targets Diddy, but also names several other individuals as defendants. One of them is Diddy's son, Justin Combs. In response to the allegations, a representative for Justin categorically denied the claims, stating that they were all lies. The representative described Jones's actions as a clear example of a desperate person taking desperate measures in hopes of a payday and warned that there would be legal consequences for all defamatory statements made about the Combs family. Christina Corum, Diddy's chief of staff, is another defendant named in the lawsuit. As of now, there has been no official statement from Corum or her legal team regarding the allegations made against her. The silence from her side leaves room for speculation and anticipation as to how she will respond to the accusations. Universal Music Group CEO Sir Lucian Grange and former Motown Records CEO Ethiopia Haptamarium, both named as defendants, have also not issued public statements addressing the allegations. Their involvement in the case raises questions about their knowledge or potential complicity in the alleged illegal activities described by Jones. As the lawsuit progresses, it is expected that these individuals will provide their responses and legal defenses. The response from Diddy's legal team and the defendants named in the lawsuit sets the stage for a contentious legal battle, with both sides firmly standing their ground. It remains to be seen how the evidence will unfold and what the court's decision will ultimately be. The public and the music industry will be closely watching as this scandalous case continues to unfold. As we await further developments, it is important to remember that these allegations have serious implications for all parties involved. Sexual assault is a grave matter that should be taken seriously, and the truth must be uncovered through a fair and thorough legal process. We will continue to follow this case closely and provide you with the latest updates as they unfold. The recent allegations made by Rodney Jones against Diddy are not the first time the music mogul has faced serious accusations. In November, Diddy settled with his ex-girlfriend Cassie, just one day after she filed a federal lawsuit accusing him of rape and abuse. Cassie's lawsuit painted a disturbing picture of their relationship, alleging that Diddy provided her with copious amounts of drugs and frequently became violent, beating her multiple times a year. She further accused him of forcing her to have sex with sex workers while he watched and took photos. Since Cassie's lawsuit, three other women have come forward accusing Diddy of sexually assaulting them in the 1990s and early 2000s. These allegations, combined with the recent accusations made by Rodney Jones, have further damaged Diddy's reputation and raised serious concerns about his behavior and treatment of others. The allegations sent shockwaves through the industry and tarnished Diddy's reputation. The public was left questioning the true nature of his character and the extent of his involvement in such disturbing activities. The settlement reached between Diddy and Cassie suggests that there may have been some truth to her claims, as settlements are often seen as a way to avoid further public scrutiny and potential legal consequences. But wait, there's more. In an amended complaint, Jones accuses Diddy of being involved in a shooting at a recording studio, in addition to the sexual assault allegations he leveled against Diddy. In the complaint filed on March 4th, Jones provides new details about the alleged 2022 incident in Los Angeles, which he claims involves Diddy and his son Justin at Chalice Recording Studio. The shooting occurred half a block away from Chalice and was the result of a robbery, according to a message allegedly sent to an unnamed person. According to the amended lawsuit, the initial filing claims Diddy and Justin had a heated conversation with someone named G in the studio's bathroom. When the pair left, Jones allegedly found G shot on the bathroom floor, claiming that Diddy later instructed the producer to tell police that he had nothing to do with it. Jones then brought G to the front of the studio, where an ambulance waited. He claims Justin denied the allegations. On February 27th, a source familiar with the Los Angeles Police Department case told NBC News that Diddy was involved in the investigation, confirming that the shooting did not occur at or near the studio and that those involved are being prosecuted. This could be a major reason why pictures of Diddy's son, Justin, in handcuffs have been circulating right after the raid. 
The impact on Diddy's reputation cannot be understated. Once seen as a powerful and influential figure in the music industry, he is now facing a wave of public scrutiny and backlash. The allegations have sparked conversations about power dynamics, consent, and the treatment of women within the entertainment industry. Diddy's image as a successful businessman and artist has been overshadowed by these serious accusations. As the legal battle between Rodney Jones and Diddy unfolds, the impact on Diddy's career and reputation remains uncertain. The outcome of the lawsuit will undoubtedly have far-reaching implications for both parties involved. It is crucial that the truth is uncovered and justice is served, not only for the individuals directly affected, but also for the larger conversation surrounding sexual assault and abuse in the entertainment industry. As the legal and official investigations are still ongoing, let's take a look at the more casual and unofficial opinions on the Diddy scandal from his contemporaries as well as fans. People have expressed discomfort and unease, recalling past interactions with Diddy that now seem troubling in light of the allegations. The public and industry insiders alike are watching closely as this case continues to develop. He told me he wanted to take me shopping. I looked at him, stunned, thinking, what did you just say? Now, he finds himself at the center of a scandal that has shocked fans and celebrities alike. Multiple victims have come forward with sexual assault allegations against him, sharing their harrowing experiences. In this section, we will delve into the world of social media and celebrity reactions as fans and fellow stars weigh in on these disturbing allegations. From singer Cassie's shocking lawsuit to the trolling antics of rapper 50 Cent, the controversy surrounding Diddy has sparked intense debate and divided opinions. Over the past four months, Diddy has consistently grabbed headlines for the numerous sexual assault allegations against him. One of the most significant lawsuits came from singer Cassie, who filed a lawsuit in November 2023 accusing Diddy of rape and years of physical and sexual abuse. Cassie and Diddy had been in a relationship for over a decade, from 2007 to 2018. During their time together, Cassie claims that Diddy subjected her to violent assaults. In addition to physical abuse, Cassie alleges that Diddy coerced her into engaging in a disturbing fantasy of his called voyeurism. According to her claim, she was directed to have sex with numerous male prostitutes while Diddy watched and recorded videos. These encounters were referred to by Diddy as freak-offs. The details of Cassie's allegations are truly shocking and paint a disturbing picture of the relationship she endured. Just a day after Cassie filed the lawsuit, news broke that she and Diddy had settled the matter amicably. Both parties released statements indicating that they had agreed to resolve the issue outside of court. However, the settlement left many questions unanswered, and the public was left wondering about the truth behind Cassie's allegations. The allegations made by Cassie against Diddy shed light on the dark side of the entertainment industry, where power dynamics can be exploited and victims can feel trapped in silence. It is crucial that we listen to and support survivors who come forward, as their voices deserve to be heard and their experiences acknowledged. Now that we have a better understanding of the allegations made by Cassie, let's turn our attention to the broader impact of these accusations. How have fans and celebrities responded to the scandal? Rapper 50 Cent, known for his provocative nature, has taken to social media to troll Diddy relentlessly amid the allegations. He has even announced plans to create a documentary that delves into the accusations against Diddy, further fueling the controversy surrounding the music mogul. DJ Academics has also been vocal about the scandal, targeting Young Miami, who was previously in a relationship with Diddy. Academics has called out Miami for her silence on the matter and has resurfaced old tweets in which she praised Diddy. These reactions within the industry have added another layer of intrigue to the unfolding scandal. The public's response to the allegations has been mixed. On social media platforms like Facebook, opinions are divided. Some fans believe that Diddy is guilty, while others maintain his innocence. The gravity of the allegations and their impact on the lives of the survivors have sparked intense debate and discussion. As the scandal surrounding Diddy's sexual assault allegations continues to unfold, we must listen to the voices of the survivors and support them in their pursuit of justice. The allegations made by Cassie and the additional victims who have come forward shed light on the dark underbelly of the entertainment industry, where power dynamics can be exploited and individuals can be silenced. 
social media platforms have become a battleground for differing opinions and reactions to the scandal. Let's take a closer look at how people have been weighing in on these disturbing allegations. XXL Magazine took to Facebook to ask fans their thoughts on the accusations against Diddy. The responses were varied, 